Ever since Newcastle United announced that Adidas were going to be the new shirt suppliers for next season, it's brought a bit of nostalgia back to the Newcastle United fans, as well as a lot of excitement about what is to come. Uh, obviously, we remember the shirts in the 90s and the, the brilliant fit, and we had no problems with ordering and things like that. Now, Kostov kind of ruined all that. They've been absolutely dreadful since the word go. Uh, but it finally looks, guys, as if we have a possible date for the release of the new shirts now this is i'm not sure what kind of release it is whether it's the release of the actual shirts or it's just the release of the photos of what it is going to be uh for next season now there is renders and i'm going to show you them they're going to go up on the screen very very shortly so let me know what you think in the comments below about the, this being the possible newcastle united shirt uh what is said is that the color may be slightly different uh but the design of the shirt should be what it is on your screens right now um so there it is let me know what you think uh obviously that's the front of it um we'll spin it over now and show you the back which highlights well black letter and back and black numbers guys so it looks like they're getting rid of the red i'm not particularly bothered about that i don't really like the red on the back of the shirts i think it looks a little bit weird uh having sort of red with white on the back given uh our uh, Sunderland hatred and things like that that's just my personal opinion but that's what it should look like in full there you go so I kind of like it guys I'm not gonna lie I mean uh, would I prefer more black and white stripes on it probably if I'm being openly honest yes I would probably like a few more black and white stripes on there but at the same time we know the quality is going to be fantastic simply because it is Adidas and we know what they can bring to the table when it comes to quality and brilliant products you know adidas has been around a long long time and they've had a very very good um partnership with newcastle united in the past and i think that's just going to continue on now uh, it looks like the date is going to be the 7th of june um which is not too far away guys obviously uh we've got to get me out the way and then the build-up to the new shirt release should be quite exciting now take it with uh, well no actually don't take it with a pinch of salt i mean these have come from good sources but at the same time um it may be around that date so it could be the seventh or it could be around that but what i like about this is they're not delaying it till the very last minute like our good old buddies at castor do you know let's let's remember when their shirt releases came around it was delayed then the released renders of what the shirts were going to look like then they were taken down again saying no that's not what the shirts are going to look like it was a mistake you won't get anything like that with Adidas. You will get proper quality and quality release date, a very exciting release date. And one thing you're guaranteed to get is a beautiful shirt. Now, as I said, let me know in the comments below what you actually think of these, um, of this render, because this is what it looks like our shirt is going to be. The, this did come out a couple of weeks ago and there was a lot of people saying, I'm not sure of it. But it actually looks now as if this is the design for next season's home shirt, guys. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like it? Or would you prefer maybe like me a few more black and white stripes on there? But this is just the first of many, guys. Let's remember that. Uh, but it will be absolute quality to wear as per usual. But let me know in the comments what you think of this potential new strip, which looks like it's going to be released on the 7th of June. Let me know. Now, swiftly moving on to a little bit of transfer news that is developing this morning is that Newcastle United are closely monitoring uh, Keenan Dewsbury Hall from Leicester City. Now, this may not fill anyone with a great deal of excitement. Um, he is 25, so he's not like a young kid, uh, but he's having a very, very good season in the championship. Now, he broke into the Leicester team, of course, when they were in the Premier League and certainly didn't look out of place. In fact, he looked like one of their better players. Um, so... I'm not sure whether to poo-poo this off and think, oh, you know, we're looking down the leagues again. Remember, we, what we want to do next season is we want to build a squad. And the likes of Dewsbury Hall may be options for Newcastle United. There will be a fee involved because he's got three years left on his contract at Leicester City. So um, even if Leicester City came up or they didn't get promoted, they're looking a bit dodgy at the minute in, in the finish to the season. But I'm, I'm sure they will get promoted back to the Premier League. But we are apparently closely monitoring now. He's not the first choice in that position. Um, the reports are stating that the first choice in that position is, in fact, uh, Morgan Gibbs-White at Nottingham Forest. Now, their future in the Premier League is, is still 
in the balance, isn't it? Because obviously they get the points deduction, things like that. It's going to be very difficult for them to stay up. Although they do have the players, in my opinion, that are capable of keeping them in the Premier League. But they just can't seem to find any consistency uh, sometimes Nottingham Forest. So um, Morgan Gibbs-White remains a big, big Eddie Howe favourite. So if Eddie Howe's got a favourite with good Morgan Gibbs-White, you're guaranteed that Newcastle United will look to him first before... Dewsbury Hall. Now, again, people are looking at, uh, you know, Gibbs White and think, what the hell are we looking at players like him for? Uh, we've been linked with him in the past, of course. And, uh, you know, I think the fans were literally 50-50 on him, if I'm openly honest. They weren't exactly sure of what to make of Gibbs White. Uh, when he's played against us, he's looked very, very good. Um, certain games, you know, when I've seen him play in other teams, he's looked very good as well. But is he consistent enough to be in the Newcastle United side? That will have to be decided. I'm, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm not so sure either whether we shouldn't be looking at better players than, than these two. Uh, but again, I said earlier, it's a squad. It's a squad. Some players are going to be squad players and we're going to buy other players to be in the first team. You know, that's how it works in football. We have to build a squad. Not everybody in the Newcastle United squad next season is going to be the class of Bruno, Joe Linton, Isak, those type of players. We are going to have lesser quality players, but squad players and good squad players that can step in when they're needed and perform. And I think that's why Eddie Howe is looking at players like Morgan Gibbs-White, at players like Keenan Dewsbury Hall, just to see if there's any possibility of bringing them to the club where they can be in the first team squad. Not necessarily immediate starters. I think they'd have to prove themselves. Certainly, Dewsbury Hall, for me, would have to really fight for his place, especially the midfield that we look like we're going to have next season. Uh, that's going to be very difficult for him to get in the first team. But as a squad player, and this is what you have to remember, guys, squad player, possibly. Because, the, the, you know, we're not going to have a team full of Brunos or Joe Lintons or Isaks. We're going to have absolute beasts of players. Then we're going to have decent quality players better than what we've already got in the squad, you know, and hopefully some will be moving on to pastures new. But it's interesting because Jusby Hall, I mean, he's got 12 goals and 13 assists in the championship this season. That's not a bad return. You know, he broke through in the Premier League. He's now scoring and getting assists in the championship. So is he a Premier League player? Is he somebody that maybe you as a fan would be happy coming into the club as a squad player? I'm not saying he's coming in as a marquee signing or in the starting eleven. We're building the squad, remember, guys. And I think that's important to remember when you look at some of these players that are linked with the club. Poor old fatty Ashley is all I have to say. Uh, news is broken that Mike Ashley has failed uh, with his injunction against Newcastle United uh, selling their replica shirts in his store. Now, Newcastle United uh, have an exclusive deal with JD Sports regarding uh, the replica shirts being sold in certain stores. Mike Ashley did not like this um, and decided he was going to try and take an injunction out against this exclusivity, and he's failed. Uh, it's uh, been, news has broken over the weekend that it's completely failed. He's got nothing to come back with and his company won't be able to sell Newcastle United shirts in his stores. And I think this is a little, well, not much, but a little bit of karma uh, just to, you know, sling one back at Mike Ashley, uh, sling a sack of shite right in his face uh, because that he deserves it. Uh, you know, to have the goal to want to, you know, sell Newcastle replica shirts in his stores after what he did to the club, uh, nah, it, it, it didn't sit right with me anyway. I know it's a, a retail store and you have to kind of look past Mike Ashley, but I can't look past Mike Ashley with what he did to Newcastle United. Not a chance in hell, will I? And I don't think any Newcastle United fan will as well after what he'd done for 15 years, dragging us through the mud, no ambition, no positivity, nothing. Nothing to look forward to at Newcastle United bar maybe celebrating, avoiding relegation every season. And now it turns out that he can't sell the shirts in his stores. And I find that such a shame in the biggest sarcastic way possible. The man is a leech. The man was a cancer on our football club. And he's still sniffing around in the background trying to cause trouble for Newcastle United. He's still there. And he'll forever be scratching at the walls trying to 
trying to break us or trying to cause some sort of problem for Newcastle, it ain't going to work. And I think this, you know, the failure to get the injunction, uh, I think is brilliant because Adidas themselves, uh, you know, they're taking over obviously from Castor next season, as we well know. And it's just going to be a, a celebration. Welcome them, welcome them, you know, Adidas back to the free at Newcastle United. And of course, no more Castor, no more Mike Ashley's stupid, pathetic deals with them because we all know that that deal was just to make money for Mike Ashley, nobody else. It was him and Castor in cahoots with each other. Castor's quality has been absolutely garbage. Um, the prices have been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the deliveries have been non-existent, certainly for me when I've ordered from them. But all that is going to change, like I said earlier on in the show. But I just thought it, it, I had to fit that into the, the show today because I find it so funny that he's still trying to cause bother for us but the injunction has been thrown out and Newcastle United have exclusivity uh, with JD Sports next season for the home kit. And finally, uh, I don't really like talk sport. I must admit, I don't like them a lot, but there is some very, very good presenters on there. Uh, I was very surprised when Jeff Stellan announced that he was going to talk sport. Obviously, he stood down from Soccer Saturday, etc., uh, but he's come back presenting the breakfast show on a couple of mornings a week for talk sport. Now, they were talking about Isak this morning and Jeff Stellan really stuck up for Newcastle United and Isak. All these rumours about him going elsewhere, going to Arsenal, etc., etc., or Newcastle, the need to sell him for FFP purposes, the need to do something to earn some money. Well, Jeff Stellan's come out and said that there's no way Newcastle United will sell Alexander Isak, not even for a million, uh, 100 million quid. And look, that may seem extreme when you say 100 million quid, but hey... Let's be honest, he is worth that now. There's no doubt about that. And the, the more exciting thing for us as Newcastle and United fans is Alexander Isak is just going to get better and better and better. I still think he's got an extra gear to go and I can't wait to see how well he does with that. Um, but what, the, what they were discussing was the FFP restraints on Newcastle United, should they look to the likes of Isak and Bruno to, uh, to sell, to make money for FFP and then to bring two or three players in with the money? Now, we've discussed that many times on this channel as well uh, as a way out of FFP, but we don't know what revenue is coming into Newcastle United next season. We know Adidas, we know maybe the Champions League money, the likes of Seller and Noon, etc., but they will have other deals in place, other sponsorship deals coming in next season. So we as fans, we don't know what the, the, you know, what the money is. We may have enough to spend quite a bit and cover our backs with FFP. We don't know that until we see what the uh, what the action is in the summer, who they go for or who they are trying to get. But I think we'll get a good impression because I think Eddie Howe will want his squad sorted early so that when we start pre-season, he's got most of the team that he needs in there. Uh, Bruno, of course, he does have the release clause, uh, which was also mentioned. But what a good point Jeff Stella made again was that Bruno, it's up to him. You know, somebody might come in and activate the release clause, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Bruno's going to go to that club. It's his decision whether he leaves or not. Now, both players, both Bruno and Isak, have said they love it at Newcastle and they're going nowhere. They want to build a legacy here. Now, what Stellan also said was that Newcastle United will be looking to build a team around Alexander Isak, and that's what they will tell him. And, of course, building a team around Isak involves Bruno as well. You've got, you've got a core set of real quality players with Newcastle United. And it's a case of building the building a beast of a squad around them. And you look at the likes of Gordon, Barnes, etc., all coming on really well. That front three was dynamic on Saturday. So you kind of look and you think, yep, yeah, things aren't too bad. Despite all the injuries we've had, despite X, Y, Z all season, it's not that bad, guys. And we've got some quality Brilliant, world-class players, in my opinion, to build a team around. And I can't wait to see what they're doing this summer. But I was, I was really pleased with what Jeff Stellan came out with this morning because it's about time somebody spoke a little bit of sense about it, isn't it? You know, it's not like Newcastle United is going to put everyone for sale. Yes, they may have to sell some players for FFP purposes, but does it have to be the elite players? No. We don't know what money Newcastle United are bringing in next season. 
We have to wait and see on that. But there you go. There is uh, the latest news, or some of it anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think of uh, all the points that were made today. Uh, before you go, don't forget, please, guys, to hit that thumbs up button. It's very important that we keep the likes coming in on the channel so the fellow fans like yourselves can find it in the search results on YouTube. YouTube will see it's getting lots of likes. They will push it out in their search results and hopefully we'll get some more people on board with the tune review. But if you are new and you like what you see, please do hit the subscribe button, free to do so. Don't forget to hit the notification bell though, which will let you know when we upload videos such as this uh, or we schedule our live shows. Now, if you're watching this on Monday, we do have a transfer show tonight, 7 p.m. Uh, we'll take a look at some more players that have been linked uh, in the media and see what they could possibly bring to Newcastle United should they sign on the dotted line in the transfer window. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great Monday, and we'll see you soon. Take care.